Welcome to the program again here today. This is Pastor Siva Mudley. And this is Pastor Jesse Mudley. And it is 20. 20. 20. Finally, it's 2020. <laughs> oh, we waited so long for 2020 to come. <laughs> and it's finally here. It is. What an amazing watch night service we had last night. Oh, absolutely. And my God, you still look fresh. Wow, as thank ever. you. you Amen. Too. <laughs> <laughs> my God, 2020 is going to be a year of perfect vision. Mm. It's going to be a year where God's going to do mighty things in your life. Amen. Everything God has promised, it's coming to pass in 2020. It's a year yeah. of great breakthrough. Yes, it it's is. a great a year of great power. It's a year of great manifestations of the supernatural. Yes. Amen. Yes. And sweetie, we are, we we have started the year. Yes. Talking about speaking in tongues, what tongues are all about. Yes. But I want you to know that we start our fasting and prayer on Monday. This coming Monday, the 6th of January. We start our 40-day fasting and prayer. Mm. So you're welcome to come and join us on the 6th of January, this Monday. Join us and fast and pray with us for 40 days. It's a dominion fast. Yes. We'll be trusting God for mighty things. Mighty things. Amen? Amen. Now, we spoke about speaking in tongues yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, you spoke something so powerful. You spoke about intercession, intercession tongues. tongues. And if you missed yesterday's episode... Go to our YouTube channel. You can watch yesterday's episode and all the previous episodes of Your Miracle, Miracle Moment, Moment on YouTube. Subscribe so you'll know when the latest videos are out and, and the videos released daily. This videos released on YouTube. You can also follow us on social media. Make sure you like us on Facebook and uh, you need transport to church. Mm. Uh, the details on the screen, contact us for transport to church. And, no, and if you don't have a church, it's difficult to get to one. You can become part of our global church. You can be a member of our global church, which is just like being a member of our church. Yes. You join in all the services. You watch it live. You interact with us. And so much more. So much more. 2020 is the year of great expansion. Yes. We are taking new territories, sweetie. Absolutely. Uh, uh, this program is going into Asia. Mm. It's going into parts of the world it's never been to before. Mm -hmm. We're going to see millions and millions coming to the Lord. This is a good time to partner with us. Yes. We are trusting God for 100,000 partners. Yes. Amen. We are plundering hell and we are populating heaven. Amen. <laughs> we need you to partner with us because we are going to be taking bigger territories this year. Come and partner with us. This is a ministry that's touching nations around the world. Yes, and we, we need you to stand with us. Stand with us in prayer. Mm. Stand with us with your resources. And join us when we go on our mission trips. Join us when we come to your city. We're also going to be doing uh, partnership conferences strictly for our partners mm. this year. We would love for you to be there with your family. We're going to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. Yes. And I'm going to be praying for you one-on-one -on -one with your families. And that is strictly for partners. And you'll get a special invite to that. Remember, partners also get a monthly newsletter. Yes, they do. And, uh, and you get my teachings there and all the stuff that God is doing in our ministry. So come and join us. Become part of this ministry and be part of this global move yes. to change nations around the world. Now, we're speaking about speaking in tongues. Mm. We said something very important yesterday. Yes. We said that the evidence of the baptism is power. power. Acts 1.8 says you'll receive power mm. after the Holy Ghost comes on you. The evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost is also the, all the gifts of the Spirit. Right. If the gifts of the Spirit are operating, it means you're baptized in the Holy in Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Right. Uh, but one of the evidences, it, it doesn't mean it has to be the evidence, mm. but one of the evidences is speaking in tongues. Right. And speaking in tongues is so important. Yes. We spoke in the program yesterday about unknown tongues. Mm. Unknown tongues are tongues that only God knows. Only God knows. Mm. And we speak them. Yeah. Even the devil gets angry and confused. Yes. He's so lost because he doesn't understand a word of what you said. But God knows what we said. That's Amen. Right. That's the gift of unknown tongues. Then we spoke about the gift of 
foreign, foreign tongues, tongues or known tongues. Yeah. So foreign tongues is really for unbelievers. It's a gift for unbelievers to get them saved. Then we spoke about praying in the spirit. Right. And we explained what praying in the spirit is all about. We explained what warfare tongues are. Yes. And we explained what worship tongues are, how to know the difference. Yes. We spoke about intercession tongues. And right. you shared a very powerful story of how God used you to intercede for someone mm. that was about to die in an accident. Mm. And you interceded and God saved this person's life. Yes. How the gift operated through you. Yeah. Amen. That was powerful. Then there are prophetic tongues. And prophetic tongues, there is the where you prophesy through tongues. And there yes. must be an interpretation to prophetic tongues. Right. Then... There is, for the church, there is praying in the spirit, yes. which we'll talk about in this series. There's warfare tongues and worship tongues. Now, Paul says that if you want to pray in the spirit, you must also pray in English so that unbelievers can understand what you are saying. Right. Right? If you only use the gift of praying in tongues mm. with no English, no vernacular, mm. then unbelievers will not be uh, blessed and they might think you're mad. They don't understand at all. But if we prophesy through tongues and there's interpretation, hmm. then unbelievers will hear what God is saying and yes. be convinced. And Paul explains us the process that we must follow in, and, and the process and the order to the process. And right. we're going to discuss all that in yes. this series. So there's personal tongues, hmm. there's public tongues for unbelievers, public tongues for believers. Right. Three classes of tongues. Now, we're going to study each one in great details. First, we're going to talk about unknown tongues. We okay. said some wonderful stuff about it, but I want you to take me to 1 Corinthians 14, 14 verse 2. 2. That gives us an understanding of what unknown tongues is. Okay, it reads, yeah. For he that speaks in an unknown tongue right. speaks not unto men, right. but unto God. Right, so unknown tongues is not for humans. Mm. It's not for humans. Because you can't speak to a human in an unknown and tongue. tongue. Correct. So you can't speak in a tongue and I can say, oh, I understand what you're saying. Mm. Because it's not for humans. Mm. It's for God. It's only God. Right. For? No man understands him. No man. No man understands unknown tongues. <laughs> uh, no man understands understand unknown, unknown tongues. tongues. Now somebody says, I understand the gift of unknown tongues. No. The scripture says, mm. no man no understands him. No one knows what you're saying. Not even the devil knows what you're saying. Sure. Howbeit in the spirit he speaks mysteries. Right. So unknown tongues, firstly, no man understands it. Only right. God understands only it. Only God. Number two, you speak mysteries. Right. That only God understands. Right. Amen. Unknown tongues. He that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself. Right. So when you speak in an unknown tongue, you are building yourself up. Yes. Right. In your so own faith. That yeah. I want to I want to point out something very powerful, Yana. Okay. One Corinthians fourteen verse two, which you just read, mm. and then one Corinthians fourteen verse four, and we're going to read one Corinthians fourteen verse eighteen. 18. All these talk about speaking in tongues, not praying okay. in tongues. There's a difference between speaking in tongues mm. and praying, praying in, tongues. in tongues. So give me 1 Corinthians 14 verse 8. Could you read that to me? I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you all. Yes. Paul says, hey, I speak in unknown tongues more than anyone else. Mm. He's saying, I build myself up more than anyone else. Yeah. So one who speaks in unknown tongues speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands what he's saying. But the Holy Spirit... Through the Holy Spirit, he utters secret truths and okay. hidden things that's not obvious to our understanding. And I'm reading it from the Amplified Version. Right. right? Paul operated in this gift more than anyone else. Yes. Which gift? The gift of unknown, unknown tongues. tongues. Amen. And there's something that we must gather from this. Yeah. Why does he say that? You know, he's con he was constantly in communication with God. Yeah. And his prayer was between him and God, solely between him and God. And only God understood what he was saying. So, and the church needs to no, return to this. Yeah. It's one of the easiest gifts is to pray in yes. an unknown tongues. And I think this is one of the tongues where you pray without ceasing. Right. So when you, when you speak in an unknown tongue, you build yourself up yes. spiritually. You edify yourself yeah. spiritually. 
when you speak in an unknown tongue. Right. The flesh dies. Mm. The, the, uh, we spoke previously on this program. Yes. But being a spiritual zombie. Yes. A spiritual zombie is when you die to yourself and God comes alive inside you. Right. So every time I'm speaking in an unknown tongue, I'm speaking to God. Mm. I'm speaking mysteries to him. Yes. But in the process, what's happening to me? Mm. I'm being built up spiritually. Right. Now, what does it mean to be edified, to be built up spiritually? What does that mean? I think at this point, when you are praying in an unknown tongue, right. and as the scripture says, you're, you're edifying yourself, what's happening is that you are dying to yourself right. while you are praying in this way to God. And God is returning you know, your, your prayer to you while you are praying to him, right. he is molding you, he's shaping you. He's taking things out of your life that shouldn't be there. He's, he's making you stronger he's renewing, spiritually. Yeah, he's renewing your spirit. He's making you stronger spiritually. Yes. Now, would you therefore say, if I speak an unknown tongue, mm. my, uh, uh, and, and, and because it says I'm edifying myself, mm. it means that I'm becoming more sensitive. I'm building myself up spiritually. Yes. I'm becoming more sensitive to God. Yes. Because I'm no longer speaking my language. Yeah. I'm speaking his, his language. language. So l let me just explain this in another way, completely different way, right? Let's just say mm. I am full of myself. I only talk about myself. I talk okay. about what I did and how good I am at this, how good I am at that, right? So I'm really, whenever I speak, I'm therefore only building myself up. Mm. Now, if I speak about you, about your needs, okay. more about uh, understanding you, mm. and more about your likes and dislikes, mm -hmm. and I don't speak about myself anymore, but I'm speaking about you. Mm. I'm speaking your language. Okay. What am I doing? I am cementing yeah. my relationship with you. Right. By speaking your language, mm. I am building myself up with you mm. stronger. Yeah. Right? The same way when, I, when you speak in an unknown tongue, mm. you're speaking God's language. Yes. So you're building yourself up with God, with God stronger. Yes. So if I speak your language, I'm becoming more sensitive to right. you. Yes. I'm becoming sensitive to your needs. Right. I'm understanding who you are, the yes. type of person you are. Right. Because I'm no longer talking only about, about myself. Mm. I'm talking about you, you. and your right. needs. So the Bible says you edify yourself. It's saying, hey, by you speaking the unknown tongue, mm. you're speaking God's language, you're yeah. becoming sensitive to God. That's right. You are, you are building your relationship stronger with God. Right. Uh, becoming more and more sensitive to the supernatural. Right. You're becoming more God conscious. Mm. You're becoming more God aware. Mm. That's how we edify ourselves spiritually. Mm. You don't edify yourself and you are physically stronger. Mm. When it says you edify yourself, it means you build your spiritual, your spirit man, man yes. stronger, you're more connected to God. Yeah. More connected to God. And, and people that pray in unknown tongues are far, far more sensitive to the supernatural. They're sensitive to the supernatural. Yes. Amen. And that's what, that's what happened to Paul. Paul was so sensitive, so full of God. Yes. Now, now here's a question. How many disciples were left when Jesus went to heaven? There were 12, well, there was 11 and then they, they chose one, right? Mm. 12. Mm. 12. 12 apostles, right? Mm. Paul was not part of the 12. Yeah. He was the 13th apostle. Mm -hmm. He was not part of the 12. Right. Yet, Paul wrote mm. most of the New Testament. Yes, he did. He gave direction to the church. Mm. He was the voice of God to the yeah. church. Mm. But, but hold on. We would have assumed that should have been Peter. Yeah. It wasn't Peter. Just Paul. Paul, right. Right? Mm. Because Peter, Jesus said to Peter, upon this revelation of who I am, mm. I will build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Peter was called to be the head of the church. That means he was called to be the spiritual leader. He was called to be the one giving direction to the church. Right. He was called to be the one putting doctrine in place. Mm -hmm. He was called to be the one directing the gospel. Yes. But he wasn't. Yes. Paul was. Paul wasn't even part of the 12. Yeah. He was. Yeah. 
Why? Because Paul spent more time mm. speaking in unknown tongues, ministering Mystery. to the churches, building the churches. Yes. We got mission trips. He took the gospel to the ends of the earth. Yeah. Why? Although he came after Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, he was around when, when Jesus was there, yeah. but he had no connection to Jesus. Yeah. He persecuted the Christians. Wow. And, and, <laughs> and he didn't have the privilege that Peter had. Yeah. He met Jesus in the road to Damascus. Damascus, correct. Paul, because of his, uh, uh, because he spoke so much in unknown tongues, mm -hmm. he became so sensitive to the voice of God. Oh. So aware of the voice of God. Yes. That he began to speak like God himself. Yes. And he started to direct the church. Correct. Because the amount of time he spent Bent. speaking, speaking in unknown, unknown tongues. tongues. It's like, I will become more aware of your needs mm. if I start to speak your language, spend more time with you. True. I'll become more aware of your desires yeah. and your, uh, your, ways. your ways, your vision, yeah. if I spend more time with you. That's what happened to Paul. Yeah. He was speaking God's language, sure. speaking the unknown tongue, and he mm. became more and more and more mm. and more and more sensitive. Mm. Amen? Powerful. So can you imagine what's going to happen to you if you spend a large portion of your time praying in unknown tongues, you're going to be built up. In other words, you're going to become more and more spiritually sensitive. You're going to become more alert of what God is saying and what God is doing, more alert of God's ways. That's what happened to Paul. Yes. Amen. This is so powerful. Unknown tongues, <laughs> unknown tongues, unknown tongues. And yet, while we have the gift, so few use, use it. it yeah. Now they use it in church, but outside the church, mm. how much do people pray in unknown tongues? If I'm driving to work, I would want to pray in unknown tongues in my car. Yes. Kura baba ba shi onori baba ba siende remo si anda raba ba shi ende. I want to pray in unknown tongues all the time sure. before I go to a meeting. I want to get God's mind. Yes. So I'll wow. pray in unknown tongues uh, before I do anything. I want to pray in unknown tongues. Hmm. If I'm if I'm a doctor and I operate on someone. I'll first pray in unknown tongues to get God's power and God's yes. anointing Amen. and be edified. Mm. And then I'll operate on someone. If I'm a teacher and I, before I teach my students, I'll pray in an unknown tongue. Yes. Uh, whatever, wow. if I'm an artisan, before I do anything, I'll first pray in unknown tongue. tongue. Yes. And this is the power of unknown tongues. Yet wow. so much of the church. Yes, they... I mean, if you're going to church, you should do this before you get to church. Yeah. <laughs> and after church, you should still be praying in tongues again. Mm. Amen? It must come naturally. Natural. It must just flow free. But we've forgotten it somewhere along the line. Yeah. We have forgotten it. The power of unknown tongues. tongues. Yeah. Tell me some of the experiences you had praying in unknown tongues. What has God done? How has God edified you when you prayed in unknown tongues? I just love praying early, early, early in the morning, mm -hmm. um, speaking to God in unknown tongues. Mm -hmm. And while I'm worshipping Him and just glorifying His name, mm -hmm. um, He would also speak to me. Mm -hmm. um, I may not, uh, I don't understand what I am saying in the tongues, but as I'm praying, um, I would feel inside of me that God is doing something very powerful, wow. very special. You feel His glory. Yes, and then everything changes. Yeah. And, and the tongues become sweeter. Right. They start flowing more freely. Right. And then there's this joy that fills in, uh -huh. in me, and I don't so, want to so stop. So are you saying then you're feeling the kingdom of God inside oh, you? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Overwhelming joy and Amen. peace. And Amen. you just you don't want the day to end. You just want to right. continue being in His presence. Right. So the unknown tongue is very, very, very special. Right. And it's for me, it's a tongue of love. Um, because when I enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise, and mm -hmm. I thank him for the day and for all that he's done. Right. And then I start just going right. into those unknown tongues and praying. Now, what would you say to someone 
that says, I want this gift. Mm. How would somebody get this gift that wants this gift? Well, firstly, you need to receive Christ if, right. you, if you haven't. If you're not a believer, right. you need to receive Christ into your heart. Right. You need to cancel every contract, right. covenant that you made with past um, idols. Uh, you know, what, uh, wherever. Yeah. Whatever. Wrong covenants. Wrong covenants, wrong soul ties. Right. Uh, um, what about a person that has been hypnotized before? Will they be able to speak in tongues? You know, hypnosis is actually being in a demonic state. Right. And the word of God says that... So they would need to repent? They would need to repent. And ask Jesus to come inside? Yes. Right, okay. And, and they must willingly do that. Right. And when they do that, then we pray for them to be delivered from that spirit. Right. And then we ask for God to fill them with these with the tongues, with the baptism. With the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. So there's various ways. You can ask God. The Bible mm. says you must desire the best gifts. Yes. Right? Earnestly desire yeah. the best gifts. So you can ask God to baptize you with the Holy yes. Ghost. Uh, you can get someone who is anointed. Anointed to lay, to lay hands, hands on, on you. you. Yes. And, and you spoke about that. You spoke about sometimes people tell you to repeat after me. Yeah. Uh, why is that wrong? Because the Holy Spirit is the one that will touch you. Right. The Word of God says He will baptize you. Okay. With the Holy Spirit, with, with His fire, He will baptize you. Right. You will receive power after the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Right. And then as you seek Him and as you pray and mm. you're desirous for the mm. gift, mm. God will baptize you on His own. So, and He will give you the words to pray in tongues. So speaking in tongues... Right, speaking in tongues mm. is a language that I don't know. It's a language. Yes. So another person can't tell you the language. Yes. Because they don't look what one Corinthians fourteen two says. Yeah. No man understandeth him. Absolutely. So if you don't understand, how can I tell you? Yes. What to say when no man can understand? No it? man can, and you and you can't repeat it's like, what it's like, someone it's like, else is it's saying. It's like let's just say. Uh, you getting filled with, with German, like the, the German language, right? right? Okay. And uh, someone says, now say these German words. Yeah. You know, <laughs> no. we, we don't even know what the words are in the first place. <laughs> yeah. But, but, it's, but so, so it's a language that just flows freely from inside. Yeah. Freely. Because it is the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit yes. that's doing it. And he lives inside the person. Right. Even if you were just born again, he right. is inside telling you, teaching you how to speak right. the word. Okay. He is teaching now, you. Now, we've got just maybe um, two minutes or so. Mm. Why don't you just stretch forth your hands on the screen? Okay. There is some people watching you right now. They're mm -hmm. saying, listen, I want the baptism of the Holy of Spirit. the Holy Spirit. I want to speak in an unknown tongue. Yes. All right? Okay. So will you lead them in a prayer of repentance? You've got two minutes. Amen. A prayer of repentance. And then pray for them to receive the gift right. of speaking in tongues. I believe people right now are going to start praying in tongues. Amen. Right now. The on Holy this program. Spirit will teach them all things. Amen. He will teach you how to speak. Yes. So don't be anxious as I pray for you yeah. now. Just stretch your hands towards Amen. the screen. Thank you. And say after me, Father God. Father God, I come to you. I come to you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me of every sin. Of every sin that I have committed. That I have committed. Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name. I cancel every contract. I cancel every contract. Every vow. Every vow. Every agreement. Every agreement. I made with the demonic. I made with the demonic. Today, Lord. Today, Lord. I cancel them all. I cancel them all. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wash me and cleanse me in your blood, Lord. Wash me and cleanse me in your blood. I receive you as my Savior. I receive you as my Savior. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. That today. That today. I receive you. I receive as you as my God, as my, God, my only God, my only God. And from today, and from today, I will serve you, Father. I will serve you. I will read your word. I'll read your word. And I will pray unto you. Now pray unto you, Father. Now, Father. Now, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, write my name, write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Lamb's book of life. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, baptize me, baptize me now with your precious presence, with your precious presence in my life, in my life. Father God, Father God, give me utterance, give me utterance that I may speak, that I may speak in your heavenly language, in your heavenly language that no one else understands, that no one else understands, but this special, but the special and powerful language, 
and powerful language that you give to me that you give to me lord god lord god i ask it i ask it in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i am desirous oh lord i desire it lord to speak in tongues to speak in tongues in the name of jesus in the name of jesus baptize me now holy baptize spirit baptize me now i come to you in the name of I jesus i come to you in the name of jesus fill me oh god fill me lord with your precious Holy Spirit with your precious Holy Spirit and Father and Father I receive it now I receive it now I receive it now I receive it thank now thank you for the gift of unknown tongues thank you for the gift of unknown tongues thank you that this gift it, thank you that this gift builds me Lord builds me Lord makes me strong in you makes me strong in you and it makes me sensitive to you Father makes me sensitive to you Lord and I know you better than I've ever known you before and I know you better than I've ever known you before thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord give you all the glory on amen, it. Amen, Thank amen, amen. Receive it right now. Receive it, receive Thank it, you, receive Lord. it. Jesus. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Thank Some you, of Jesus. you, you're feeling like heat all over your body. Some wow. of you, your, your, your tongue is getting uh, uh, getting a little bit flexible and, and, and making funny Thank noises. You, Just let it flow. Amen. Let it flow. Amen. Let amen. it flow. Don't worry. Just let it flow. Thank it you, it doesn't make sense to your mind. Mm. Just let it flow. That's it. You're receiving you, it. Thank ah, you, people Jesus. all over the place are speaking amen. in tongues. That's the Amen. baptism of the Holy Ghost is Thank on you, you right Jesus. now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Thank you. to God. Please send us a message. Tell us what has happened to you. Contact us on social media and Amen. tell us what has happened to you. We'd love to hear about your encounter today on the program. Amen. We're going to be praying again tomorrow yes, on the will. program. And we're going to continue this. So until tomorrow, we love you. And may Jesus bless you from Pastor Silva and Pastor Jesse. Amen. God bless you. And remember, miracles are normal. normal.